it kind of gets out of kilter. My left hand fingers are still today much longer than my right. And uh, that's just constant stretching with the left hand over the years. I lost power in my bowing arm and that stopped me playing the big pieces, which is obviously what I've always done. And it was a serious problem. And when it happened, it came very suddenly. I knew about it last October in the middle of a concert. Because, of course, you always play that 10% extra. So when you're practicing at home, I didn't realize I had a problem. Then suddenly in the uh, first movement of the John Arlen Sonata, great favorite of mine, I suddenly was thinking, what's wrong? I can hardly hold the bow. You know, and the most embarrassing moment of my life, I had to go to the concert organiser in the interval and say, I don't think, I'm, I'm not sure I can do the second half. And uh, he said, why? And I said, well, I can't hold the bow. I mean, I, it's ridiculous, isn't it? We've all seen footballers being stretched off the pitch in agony, but it's equally tragic when a musician is forced to take their final bow. I had two MRI scans on my neck and it showed that this herniated disc is pressing on a nerve root. So I'm thinking, it's time for me to move on. I have to say I miss the playing enormously, I really do. Um, but that's the way it is and I want to move on and do something that makes a difference. There is a kind of bereavement there. You know, that was what I did all my life. Suddenly it's not there. Suddenly I'm not with the cello anymore. And uh, it, it's a strange feeling. Whoever said it was easy being a musician?